Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website and online presence. Akira. 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 back to another video i am making over another room so this video is actually like pretty long overdue i actually did like a whole intro to this section months ago in like august hello so it's in the middle of august now and even then that was like pretty delayed because i redid this room around july of this summer but here it is now i mean it's better late than never here is a little makeover of my bedroom so for quite some time now, after I redid this room, I felt like my bedroom was just really lacking because it felt like it was just a room, you know, just to serve its purpose and nothing else. So I really wanted like a nice revamp just so that it could kind of match the aesthetic of this room. If you don't know already, this is my art studio. I do all of my work from here. I work as a full-time artist in animation, so I work from home from here, from all these screens. And I also run my little sticker shop and Patreon stuff and make a bunch of cute stickers and shit. <laughs> I love being in this room and ever since the makeover, it's kind of just like uplifted my spirits a lot. So I kind of felt like I really needed that in the bedroom as well. So I kind of stuck to some similar themes of like really warm and bright colors and just like simple shapes and whatnot. But I didn't do as much work as I did to this room. I kind of just had some like small cosmetic changes and art prints and whatnot. And just to like make the room neat and tidy overall. But yeah, um, it's been a few months since this makeover because right now it's the end of November basically. I definitely enjoyed the room a lot more. It's definitely a lot brighter than before just because of the color choices. Even though it's like nearing winter time where there's less sunlight, it's still like a pretty bright and uplifting room and it just makes me happy. So yeah, overall it was a pretty simple kind of process. So let's get into how I remade my room. I've been very sad for obvious reasons, so, and <laughs> I've just been accumulating a lot of clutter just from being lazy and, you know, not having my shit together. I just want to, like, get out of feeling bad all the time and, you know, when your mind is cluttered, it's nice to declutter at least your surroundings so it feels like you have at least some control of your life. So this is the before and, you know, it's very unimpressive. I have some really big mirror walls. Funny thing about this house is that every room has giant mirrors. So this is my room and as you can see, it's very plain and it gets very cluttered. There's a lot of organized chaos in the corner right there. I've got like drawers here, got all my jewelry stuff and only a few prints up. And then the rest is just my bed. I have a queen size bed because I'm a big gal and I have a lot of sheets that I didn't I didn't make my bed today. And then like the other room, I have this little area here. Maybe I can use it for, you know, giving more space to Dumpling. I know he loves to sit here, especially when there's a lot of sun right now. Here's some plants, a little shelf thing, and a lot of things to organize here. I think the best thing about this room though is is how much light it gets during golden hour but besides that it's like pretty dark in here for the rest of the day. It's only like this bright for two hours of the day. So yeah with all that I think I'm just gonna clean up you know sweep and dust everything first before I make any major changes but I'm also gonna put on the new bed sheets so this is the everlasting bedding set and I love it so much because I absolutely love grid stuff and I love yellow and warm colors 
so it works really well. This is like perfect timing because I really need an upgrade to my bed. It's very messy. I have about four blankets because <laughs> I'm dumb. But this would be especially nice in this room because of the golden arrow light. It'll just really brighten up this space like even more. Hey friends, before we go on further, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. As you all know already, I've been using Squarespace for quite some time now. It is my website for a portfolio and also my shop needs for my patrons. It's a super versatile online platform where you can showcase all your creative needs. There's so many customization options with Squarespace. The thing I love the most about it is their free templates that you could start from. What I love most is all the color customization options. What's also super cool is that you can customize both the web browser version and also mobile version of your website so that you could see every type of interface. So if you're interested, you can head on over to squarespace.com to start your free trial and you can head on over to squarespace.com slash thank you for 10% off. It's always been a blast working with Squarespace. I don't know what I would do without them. So thank you so much to Squarespace again. And now back to your regularly scheduled video. I'm waiting for my friend. I don't know where my friend's at. But we're going to Ikea and I'm gonna get, I don't know what I'm gonna get yet, probably a lot of storage. And yeah, that's about it for now. You're late! <laughs> Hello. Hello. My camera's working. <laughs> and I don't think Akira! 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 just got back from my little trip to Ikea and I have a little cute haul again and if you watched how I made over this studio room you kind of see that I gravitated towards the same things I bought this cloud lamp again because it's just too precious and I realized that I want this in my room because it'd be like a nice night light do you like it I also got some general things for around the house and finally I got a couch cover for this couch because right now it doesn't have anything on it. So I'm glad I finally have something for it, although it is, you know, a darker color than what I wanted. But this is all they have at Ikea. They have this color of black and some weird funky polka dots and patterns. So yeah, I got some cute spray bottles because I just needed a lot around the house for all purpose cleaner and just you know they look great actually and then i got an upgraded one of these because i got one from daiso earlier but it's all plastic 
and it's been kind of deteriorating so now I have a glass one and then for the actual bedroom I got some more frames I feel like IKEA frames are really nice they have you know a very clean slick look and they're really easy to hang up and all that and what I realized is that what I want to do with decorating around the bed is not have frames where my head is so this is going to be on the side and to add to that i got another shelf i love these shelves they're very great and useful and something that'd be kind of fun and just nice to use is a big tray you know kind of for like breakfast in bed kind of stuff like that i'm not like fully ready to decorate my room yet but I'm glad I got some things to start off. I still want to get like a laundry hamper and all that, so yay! Well, um, it was really hard to film all of this yesterday, but I repotted all my plants because I have been neglecting them greatly and I didn't realize how much they've been affected and I'm really sad about it because like a lot of plants that I've had for maybe like three plus years or so have been dying and that just like broke my heart. I bought some new plants as well when I visited the nursery last week. This one is known by a lot of things. Some people call it baby tears and it's also Palea aquamarine, but they're very sweet and delicate, like a very viney plant and it really fits well with this uh, pot. I just really like bushy, tiny plants. They're very delicate and it's like harder for me to take care of because I get very impatient and it gets like tangled and stuff, but I'm willing to give this one a try. And then I got this guy here. I know this guy as um, Frosted Peperomia, but on here it says Peperomia Emerald Ripple. So it's pretty interesting how many like house names there are for each plant. So I think I'm also going to be bringing back a lot of my plants that have been outside for two months now at this point. I don't know if a lot of people realize, but I moved out like a lot of my plants when I got Dumpling, my cat, because, you know, I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't around the toxic plants when he first got here. But I've been reintroducing a lot of my plants back into my studio because I realized that Dumpling does not care whatsoever about my plants, which is great. <laughs> So there's no worry that he's going to be like chewing on them or eating them or like even pawing at the soil. So I think I'm going to be bringing back all my trees. <laughs> now that a lot of things are a little cleaner in my room, I'm gonna get to making some decor things because I don't know, I just wanna work with my hands again. I don't really know how to embroider or crochet or knit, but I do know how to make fluffy yarn balls and I have leftover yarn from that that I'm gonna be using to make uh, more of these kind of daisy flowers that are very simple. I have a lot of what I used last time 
So I'm going to just reuse it for this time. And then something different that I'm going to do this time around is actually paint and print my own art prints because I really love how my studio is kind of like an extension of myself where I have a lot of other people's art and also a little bit of my art but I have nothing of myself in the bedroom so this will kind of be a little bit more personal I guess where I just want like cute prints <laughs> a few pom-poms now but I decided to go out and buy some more string and yarn because you know there I just needed a lot more colors I have a few here and I'm just gonna do what I did last time with this piece here where I kind of make like a flower mosaic and I think it's gonna be pretty cute still so yeah I'm just gonna take some time and make as many pom-poms as I can because it's actually pretty stress relieving and it's really fun <laughs> Time to tackle this. recently and I haven't had the motivation to build it but I'm going to try now even though it's like 9 p.m. soft. My cat Dumpling absolutely loves scratching posts and then I chose this cat tree because it has a lot of these as supports so I think he'll really enjoy that.
someone want to try their new toy? Oh, big stretch. You don't want to try out your new cat tree? Look how cute it is. So this is the finished room. Overall, there weren't too many changes made. All I did was like install a shelf, a few paintings here and there. Everything's like very cosmetic, but I feel like all the elements that I was able to gather to put together this room really has a cohesive element to it. And it feels definitely way more like home. And the best part about this room, I would have to say, is actually the bedding. Because this room gets a lot of really good afternoon light, it's about 4 p.m. right now and it's like a really bright, warm feeling in this room. This bedding, because it's like so nice and yellow, it brings out even more like color and happiness overall and it makes me really happy. Before, I was like really not super typical about what I wanted my bedroom to look like, but after doing all this, I feel like a generally a more sense of home and belonging and I'm glad to have like more me represented in the space that I live in but overall I do like how very simplistic everything is I've made a few pieces I've moved around other pieces that I had in my studio room and I hung up a lot of things that are more sentimental to me dumpling my cat absolutely loves the cat tree he's lounging on it right now and i love how the cat tree like fits in perfectly with the overall mood the space feels like it can be utilized a lot more in a more efficient way i have like a really cute night lamp now i have an abundance of vines and string lights and larger bulb lights which makes the room feel really cozy, kind of like a outdoor cafe. I think I'm still gonna be working on this room over time. It's not just gonna be fake plants everywhere. I'm gonna have a little bit of my actual babies. So just talking more about the specifics, we got lots of wall prints here, a lot of floral patterns, and then I have some of my fun little pom-pom art. They're really fun because they bring like a little pop of color to the wall and a lot of texture to kind of balance out this shelf over here. For the rest of the room that's not directly next to my bed, I kept everything very simple. I just cleaned up, organized whatever I had in my cabinets and shelves, and then had the TV 
be a little bit more accessible to watch shows and play some Switch games. And yeah, I think that's about it for me today. This room is at a pretty good stage right now and I can't wait to see how it transforms over the next few months or so. Who knows? But I'm happy with it. I hope you got something out of this kind of transformation process and yeah, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you take care. Bye bye! Hehe. <laughs>